Okay. So here we've got the fourth question in a series of uh, C4 revision questions on integration. This is a 10 mark question. And I don't really think it's going to take, it's a little fiddly, but it's not crazy difficult for 10 marks. So if a question like this comes up in your exam, it would be nice. We're asked to do the integration x squared over, and I'm going to just rewrite this as a, a power, so x minus 1 all to the half with respect to x. And they've asked us to use this substitution. They've asked us to use u squared is x minus 1. So we want to replace all the x's in here. We want to turn this into an integration with respect to u using this substitution. So we need to change the dx to a du, and we need to change these things to u if possible. Well, to to rearrange this, there's a couple of ways to get. We need to differentiate this to get uh, du dx, so we can replace dx. So one way is to work out what u is. u is x minus 1 to the half. So then we can do a straight du dx, differentiate. We've got a chain rule on the right, so it's a half multiplied by the differential in the side, which is just 1, x minus 1 to the minus a half, which is reduce the power by 1. So du dx is just, well, that's a half. This is u to the minus 1 here. This is uh, u to the minus 1, so it's 1 over 2u. So rearranging all this, uh, what do we get? We get 2u du is equal to dx. So we can replace this with 2u du, which is fine. We could have done it straight up using implicit differentiation. So we could have done, we could have just gone, well, that's 2u du dx, and the differential of this with respect to x is just 1. So then straight up you get 2u du is equal to dx. So you could just do this implicitly, but you've got to remember this side, the u squared has got to be done imp implicitly rather than um, just rearing, getting u on its own and then finding du dx. So let's go into this over onto the side and then let's see what happens. Well, we've got x squared on top. Can't really get rid of that at the moment. We've got x minus 1 to the half. Well, we spot that it's the root of this, which is the root of this. So it's u, or we've already got it written here. So we know that it's just the u on the bottom. And dx we can replace with 2u, oh, my apologies, 2u du. Now, if we had limits, we'd have to change our limits because the limits in the question would be in x, and we'd have to turn the limits to y, but we haven't got that. Um, so that comes out as, you can see this u cancels with this u, so we get 2x squared with respect to u, which does look a lot more simple, but we have to have spotted that actually the problem is that we've got uh, an x, a function of x here, but we want to integrate it with respect to u, which we can't do. There's no such thing as like this implicit, like we did with the differentiation, an implicit thing. So we have to get rid of this x somehow as well. Well, we could rearrange this one. We could say that x is equal to u squared plus 1. Couldn't we? So just by rearranging this expression, the substitution we've got, we've got a value for x. So that means we can find out what x squared is. Well, it's just u squared plus 1 all squared. And then we just, that's a double bracket. So we can just expand that out. We get, what do we get? u to the 4 plus 2u squared plus 1. So really, instead of the x squared, we can replace it with all of this. So really, this integration can read 2, well, let's put it all out. There's 2u to the 4 plus 4u squared plus 2 with respect to u. So I've just doubled it because we've got to integrate 2x squared. So I've just doubled this, double this, and double this. And that makes our life a lot easier now. That means that we've got, well, increase the power by 1, divide by the new power. So that's 2 over 5u to the power 5 plus, increase the power by 1, 4 thirds, u to the power of 3, plus 2u, plus our constant of integration, c, which is great. Then we've got one final thing we need to do. We just need to replace our u. We need to have it in terms of x at the end. Apologies for the school bell. And so we just need to replace, well, we'll go forward and place this u back in for here. So what we get is 2 fifths 
u is x minus 1 to the 5 over 2 plus 4 over 3 x minus 1 to the it's the power of 3 so it's 3 over 2 plus 2 x minus 1 so the half plus our constant of integration c so all we had to do was a substitution and that was worth 10 marks we substituted we found out what uh, dx was to replace it with a, a du and some other function of u we replaced what we could with u rearranged to get x and replace that for u as well and then we just had an integration in u we did that integration with u got a constant of integration and just replaced back in our expression uh, for x at the end by replacing u okay, and that's 10 marks I think that was quite a straightforward question for 10 marks in the exam have a go back over it and check you can do the differentiation here for the du dx and check you understand how I've got rid of the x squared on top as well. Okay, do well.